Hey friends, fellow music lovers, Wes here checking in again. I wanted to go ahead and make a video talking about my finds from the Orlando Records show this past uh, Sunday. Uh, the show was really good as usual. A lot of, lot of vendors there. Pretty good size. It was pretty much actually too big for my taste. Just I, I got tired after about three hours of digging and I, I just had to give it up and I didn't, I didn't look, I didn't look at every vendor. Uh, but I got through probably two-thirds of it uh, So it was a good day didn't spend all my money, which was a good thing tried to buy things that I really wanted and uh, stick to that so uh, Nice little haul here had a really good day uh, Went to Ikea after the show. It's always fun uh, Orlando is the nearest Ikea for us and that's Two hours away, so I only get there once or twice a year and it was just just fun to walk around and look at things. I always like just looking at the designs of the furniture there for ideas for when I'm building my own furniture. Kind of kind of helps uh, spark the spark the creativeness and the uh, the engineering uh, aspect of designing a piece of furniture and figuring out different unique things you can do. So that's just fun to go there and walk around for me anyway. Uh, a little bit crazy on the weekends, but I can't really get there during the week. So anyway. Let's go ahead and get into it. Oh, and also, I, I should say, uh, I noticed they have now have hot pink and teal, teal blue, or light, you know, sort of like a, a, a light blue sort of color in the Expedits there. They're the glossy, like the red ones, so that's, that's pretty interesting. And I thought the red ones were discontinued, but they still had red ones on the show floor, so I don't, I don't know, that's interesting. But anyway, enough Expedit talk. Orlando Record Show. Just uh, I'm gonna go through these and show you what I got. First thing I have here is Bob Dylan's debut album. Uh, this is a stereo copy. It's a later later issue on uh, sort of that orange and red Columbia label. Uh, but just uh, Dylan, I didn't have, and it was a nice copy, and it was it was three dollars. I thought that was a pretty nice deal for that. Next thing we got here is Fleetwood Macs. Uh, Heroes are hard to find. I'm trying to collect uh, all the Fleetwood Macs just to hear the hear the progression of the band from from its roots onto where it is it, it is today. I guess you could say it's sort of uh, you know they keep trying to get back together and it just doesn't seem to work out. But next one we got is Sly and the Family Stone. There's a riot going on. This is definitely something I wanted to have. A, Glad to be able to have found that. That was a cool find. Uh, next thing we got here is Jeff Lorber Fusion Soft Space with uh, Chick Corea and Joe Farrell. Um, I'm not sure who pl somebody played this in a video once, and I remember hearing it and liking it. Uh, so I definitely wanted to pick this up. This is actually on Inner City Records. Pretty cool. Glad to have found that nice clean copy of that. This next thing. <laughs> It's George Harrison's All Things Must Pass, but it's uh, heavily heavily damaged here. And I actually already have this album, but the, the reason I bought this uh, for $2 is because this one has a poster, or the poster I should say, in it, which is almost always hard to find for this particular album, this particular box set that's got hung up a lot. Finally, finally found a poster to add to mine. I have, an, I have a nice copy of this, but uh, it doesn't have the poster, so I've been on the, on the hunt for a poster for it, and finally, finally got it. So that was definitely worth two bucks to get the, get the poster to add to mine. Uh, next thing we got here is OMD's Crush. Add another piece to my OMD collection. Really awesome to be able to uh, find more of these. I'd love to be able to Love to be able to uh, keep finding them and, and keep working on that collection because I love, I love everything I've heard so far from OMD. Good stuff. Uh, next thing we got here is Genesis's Nurse, Nursery Crime. Another piece for the, the Genesis collection. Uh, what was this? 1971. So this is pretty early. It'd be interesting to hear what this sounds like. After recently hearing the debut album from Genesis, quite a different, quite a different version, uh, quite a different band from what it is in it, what it is in the 80s and you know the Genesis, I know well. Uh, next thing we have here is Split Ends, True Colors. Love the purple and yellow album artwork on this. I don't know if all of these were laser etched, but this one is. Let's see if we can get it to. 
kind of see. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's la actually a laser etched on both sides. Um, so, pretty neat. Uh, next up, we got Pat Metheny Group with off ramp. This is it's ECM here. Pretty cool, definitely. It was one I was looking for that I've heard heard people uh, talk about it before, and uh, thought I would like to uh, tr give it a try for myself. Next up, we got Thompson Twins with Big Trash. Couldn't remember if I had this one or not, so I I grabbed it since it's really nice, clean um, clean copy of this. So I I picked it up. I think this was uh, a two dollar purchase, so had to have that. Next one here is a Santana album uh, from the 80s, which I happen to like, really love one of the songs on here. It's the song called Winning uh, that he did. This is from 1981. This is the album Z-Bop. I, I just love, I love that song Winning. And it's one of those songs to get sort of charged up if you're, if you're looking to get, get a, like a pep talk or something, you know, you want to get, get charged up to attack something. It's a cool song. So I thought it'd be nice to have that on vinyl. Uh, this next piece was something really awesome. I'm really glad I found this. Uh, this is the soundtrack to Thief by Tangerine Dream. Definitely looking forward to uh, hearing this. Never thought I would find this. I think this was $2 as well. I think I'm in a stack of stuff. I bought at a seller that was uh, doing $2. Uh, really interesting stuff. So that was a nice pickup there. We got Billy Idol's Rebel Yell still in the shrink wrap. Definitely, I always seem to do well in the 80s with, uh, with the Orlando record show. There just seems to be an overabundance of 80s records in the Orlando area. I always do, do really well with them, find them in uh, good condition. But this, this next one is from the 90s. This is uh, KD Lang, All You Can Eat, 1995. And this one is actually on yellow, golden yellow vinyl. Very pretty. So that was a really interesting, fine, unexpected... But uh, something definitely cool to add to the had in the, have in the collection. Next thing we have is Men Without Hats, Pop Goes the World, which surprisingly I don't have. I do now. A nice, nice clean copy in the shrink with hype sticker and everything on it. Uh, here's a late Fleetwood Mac. This is Tango in the Night. People have been saying is actually really good. As you know, people in the VC who have listened to this say they really like it. So. Um, Definitely wanted to have this. Right. Next thing we have here is Thomas Dolby, The Golden Age of Wireless. Cool addition to the collection. Uh, it's Grace Jones, Warm Leatherette. An album I have not heard. I've heard Warm Leatherette, but beyond that, I really don't, really don't know much about Grace Jones, but I like that song, so I thought I would uh, pick up the album and see what the rest of it's like. Uh, we got an upgrade copy of Weird Al Yankovic in 3D. Uh, this is an album I've had for quite a while. I bought this back in the 90s and it was already pretty well worn copy and it, uh, you know I've carried it around to different apartments here and there and it uh, hasn't gotten any better. So this is a really nice clean clean copy of this. It's actually a promo copy, gold stamp promo. So that was a cool pickup. I think that was $2 as well. So that's an upgrade. And the last piece I got is Frankie Goes to Hollywood, Liverpool. Yeah, this is from 1986. Don't know if this is any good. Don't recognize any of the songs on here, but Frankie Goes to Hollywood pretty well. So I thought I would pick that up. So yeah, it was a good, good fun day at the Orlando Record Show. Um, the next one will be in... Probably February sometime, I think. Uh, I have to check on that. Um, don't know if I'll make it. Might just wait till the fall one again or whatever. But always a fun show. So thanks for checking out my uh, my finds. If you if you have any comments on any of these, please leave them down below. If you're not already, please subscribe, and you'll be uh, kept up to date with any future future vinyl finds and other interesting things talking about vinyl. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon. Cheers.